Hi everyone, it's Tammy and I am so excited about this week's stamp set. We are going to be doing the Birthday Fiesta. I have wanted to have my hands on this for a while. It was not one of the first ones that I had to get, so I had to wait for it, but it was worth the wait and I am so excited about it. This llama is so cute. I still don't know why it's a llama and not a donkey or something, but I didn't make it and I don't really care because the llama makes me laugh. So. It's all good. And then I have the Fiesta Time Framelits as well. And this is going to uh, just complete the set. Now you can get these in the catalog. And I didn't look those up again. I like to kind of do that for you guys. But um, let's see, the Fiesta set. Where are you? Birthday Fiesta, page 11. Oh, it's super soon in the catalog. And it even gets two pages of fun. I mean, look at these beautiful colors. And the way that they've done this is just remarkable. Now, let's see. The bundle, you can get them both for $43. And that's the die cuts and the, poly, the polyphotomer stamp set. There are 21 stamps in here. So it is a pretty large stamp set. Little flowers and the cactus and... The llama and sweet little sayings, fiesta like there's no manana, and wishing you the happiest of birthdays, and some cute banners, and just all sorts of fun stuff. And then the fiesta time dies come with a total of, I don't know how many, but look at all these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dies. So it's a pretty large set, and I am very excited about using it, and I am super excited about um, getting this week's series underway. So let's go ahead and get started. Now you can see that I had my book re bound and people have asked about that. There is a local uh, copy center in town called Sharp Printing that I go to for most of my things. They did this for me for five bucks. I like them because they're kind of a mom and pop shop. But I have a friend who took hers to Office Depot, which I know is around the country. And hers was like $2.60 to have done. So you can take it to Staples or Office Max or Office Depot or I don't know, all the uh, all of those big box uh, what are my office supply stores? And they will do this too. Just go to the copy center area. But um, it's very nice because now I can, if I wanted to leave this open, I can do it like this so that I can see some of the beautiful designs that they have. And I could case them or get my ideas based off of them or the colors or whatever. But in this particular one, I think I'm set. So I'm going to put this away for now. And we are going to fiesta like there's no manana. Okay, I've already cut my A2 size card and I did this in the pumpkin pie. And I need to find my... I wasn't very prepared this morning, was I? Uh, where are you? Here you are. My bone folder. <laughs> it took me that long to figure out what the name of it was. Whew. So I have... I'm using the beautiful Fiesta Time designer series paper as well. And the colors in this are Tempting Turquoise. Let's see if I can get them all right. Melon Mambo, Emerald Envy, Cucumber Crush, and Pumpkin Pie, and Whisper White. So I'm going with the Pumpkin Pie base, an em Emerald Envy card topper. And then I just love this. It reminds me of an old Spanish or Mexican blanket. And oh, I just think it's beautiful. So I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to have my little llama guy here. And then I'm going to put the sentiment here. And I think I'm also going to have my little llamas this. I don't know. I might stamp it with that. And then I don't know. We'll see how it goes when we're going along. And the only other thing that I could think that I might need is maybe a scrap piece of this paper. And I actually have this as scrap. I can probably use just this one. Let's see, because I think I was going to use it for scrap for something else too. And I could cut off this little hat. It's a little cut off already, but if I trimmed this one too, I could make the llama wear a hat. I know I've seen that a lot, a lot, a lot. And it is a super cute idea. So... 
Um, let's just go ahead and get that started. Or maybe he can carry a maraca or have a chili pepper. I don't know. This is just fun designer series paper that you can do lots with. So let's go ahead and get started. And I am going to use my Misty. And I'm going to put this down. And I'm going to stamp my llama and chocolate chip on this crumb cake so that I don't really have to color them. At least that's how I'm thinking now. You know what? I might do them this way so that I'll have enough room for sure to die cut them. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'll just take my chocolate chip and ink up my little llama. Oh my gosh. It's his little teeth that does it. Isn't that adorable? I just love them. Oh my word. This is not wet anymore at all, so let me get my little Stampin' Mist out. And I'm just going to spray right on him. It didn't clean up very well from last time, it looks. I probably need to get out my heavy duty cleaner that I bought when I bought this at My Sweet Petunia. If you guys are interested in a Misty, I would go to My Sweet Petunia, and that's what this little contraption is called, a Misty. It's an acronym for Most Incredible Stamping Tool Invented or something like that. I think that's right. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cute. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. So I'm going to get out my big shot in just a minute and I'm going to die cut out this little llama. But before I do that, I also want to stamp, and I'm going to use the Tempting Turquoise, I think, to stamp on my Whisper White. And I think I'll do the Fiesta like there's no manana. I think that's funny. And I'm going to do this in the center here, and I'll tell you why here in just a second. So I'm just going to ink up that bad boy and I have these die cuts these lots of label framelits so the reason I put that in the middle was so that I could pick one of these to go around it Oh no. <laughs> okay, that actually looks really good. And I'm wondering now if I can do a little bit of decoration at the top and at the bottom. I'd hate to go any smaller, but let's see how that one looks if I went just one smaller. Yeah, it would kind of cut off some of that, so that wouldn't work. I need to go with this one. And. It gives me a little bit in the top and the bottom, so I'm going to I think I will use this guy.
and there's two of them in here. They're not the same, but I think that they could work together. If I did it something like this. Now it might cut some of that off, but I might be okay with that. So let me go ahead and clean this. I'm thinking what color do I want those? Do I want those to be blue too? I think I'd like them to be a different color. So I might do the Emerald Envy. Or I don't have pumpkin, but I do have, oh, I have something that's kind of like the pumpkin pie. Yes, it's called Peach Parfait. That's what I'm going to use. This is an older stamp pad and stamp color that they no longer offer. Oh, that is cute. I say so myself. Gosh, I just love stamping and card making. It's so fun. Urgh, those things stick to my fingers. I need to put some lotion on my fingers, but uh, I hate that feel. And I have some clothes that are like that. Well, I don't have them, but I have felt clothes like that. I don't buy clothes like that because it's... Ooh, it gives me the heebie-jeebies. But you guys probably know what I'm talking about. They even sell like blankets that feel like that. Or pajamas are a big one. They have that weird feel that if you have like a hangnail or dry skin or anything, it totally like gets caught up in it. Well, I am notorious for having dry skin even in the summertime. And my skin isn't like totally dry, but it's just, it's not as soft as... I'd like it to be, but like those kinds of things, oh my word. Oh. Yucko, yucko, yucko. Okay, so now we can get out the big shot and I can cut both my llama and my words. And I can do them at the same time. So let's pull this bad boy out. And, oh, I didn't put away my pumpkin pie. Let me do that so that I won't get ink everywhere. And I know it's not pumpkin pie, but I'm calling it that because that's what I needed it to be. So I'm just going to line this up where I think it looks nice. And then I'm going to line up the llama. Llama, llama, llama. He's a no drama llama. And then I'm going to place this down carefully because I'm not using my magnetic board because I like to live dangerously. Go once and then I go back. And the die cuts just make things so nice. Yay! So I can put this one back. I just got these. This is the first time I've used this, but I really like this set. I think it's $27. And if there's anything that you guys like and you want to purchase, my store is open 24 seven. And the link is down below. It's ttscraps.stampinup.net. And I'd love to be your demonstrator. We have lots of fun. We meaning my customers and my downline and I. Yeah, if you're interested in selling or becoming a demonstrator and earning a discount and such, I would love to talk to you about that too. 
now's a great time to join too because the holidays are coming well in the craft world you plan for the holidays earlier than they actually are so I know it's June well it's June when I'm filming this but no it's not it's July but this is not going to go up until probably September I have a lot of videos going up so now is the time to join because the holiday catalog is available and you could choose your free stuff from the holiday catalog mmm enticing isn't it enticing isn't it okay so now what we're gonna do I might even use the big shot one more time I'm not sure yet I just love all the fun stuff you can do with this set and the colors are just gorgeous so I'm just laying this down like so and look I could use this side or this side but I have to use the warm blanket feel inside and I'm going to put that down there I'm going to dimensional him up and I'm thinking I will cut out this little hat to have him wear. It's a cute little hat. Sombrero, I should say. Now, as you guys know, I have a love for chihuahuas and I have one now and I had another one but she passed away last December her name was Tinkerbell and she was just my little fur love I loved this little girl and um, it was sad sad when she passed away I'm going to cut a slit in here I think for his little ears to stick out Whew, that's sharp poked myself um, but anyway I went to Dallas last October I believe yes I know it was and I came back with a little sombrero for my little Tinkerbell oh my word she was so cute if I can remember when I post this I will put a picture of her at the end in her little sombrero Okay, so let's see, how would this work? This would go, his little ears would stick out through here, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I wonder if I shouldn't have done him up a little bit. I don't know, I think that's good. <laughs> Who's gonna notice? Oh my gosh, that's making me laugh. <laughs> oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's too funny. I'm going to put a little bit of snail adhesive on the back of his ears so that the hat will stay put because I don't want that going anywhere because it's too cute. <laughs> I think I'm even going to do it a little sideways because he's a little snarky. <laughs> Do you see that? That is hilarious. Oh my goodness, so funny. And I'm going to cut out this little chili pepper and maybe the other chili pepper and the maraca. Just because now I'm having fun with it. And that's what crafting is all about. see I'm just gonna I'm not gonna care too much about getting these cut off exactly but I'll just trim a little bit of that white off Goodness, it doesn't want to come off, and my my eyes are bad. I cannot see how where it is. 
And this is awfully tiny. I used to be able to see so well. Okay, there we go. So there's one. I don't think I have my newest prescription glasses on either. So maybe I should switch to those. Which I do have handy. I keep this one, which is my last year's subscription, prescription, um, in the living room. And then I have another last year's um, prescription in my purse that I wear to work and stuff. And then I have this year's prescription. I never, I'm going to keep saying that wrong. So these are last year's. And these are this year, so they didn't change much, he said, but maybe it's enough for me to tell if I am doing these little cuts. We'll see here in just a minute. Actually, I think it is helping a little bit, and I'm just going around so I don't have to do the little triangle cut. <laughs> okay, so there's that, and I need a little drink. I know I did a haul video on these cups, but I just love them. They're so pretty, and they actually go with this fiesta. It's like melon mambo and pumpkin pie colors. And then we're going to put this here, and I'm going to pop dot this little guy. And I need something over here, so what I think I'm going to do is... I think... I'm going to use the die cuts. Oops. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to use that guy. And I have an orange and a green right here. I wonder if I should just use those colors or if I should get out, I don't know. Let me see if I have any tempting turquoise I could use. Or I wonder if, let me see if in my designer series paper, I have any, oh look, I have this I can use. I, okay, I'll use those. Well, that's a piece of white. I don't know why that's in there. Okay, I'll use those. big shot I'm gonna get everything out of the way again because it's pretty big that's why it's called the big shot I'm just gonna put that down there and close this on it further away from the tripod stand or I will knock you guys out. My little... Oh. <laughs> Sorry. have that little brush thing that I can use but on this one it's really not that bad because this is all one piece once you get it out of there so I like that and then I want to do this tipping turquoise but I don't think I will do it I mean obviously it won't fit the whole thing but I might do two of these.
Okay. Oh, I was saying it gets stuck to this because this is all worn out from using so many die cuts on it. I don't know when you need to replace them. I should probably look into that. So if somebody asks me, I can tell you too. But um, I would say probably pretty soon because it's getting awfully indented and things are getting stuck to it like that. So it's probably a good time to think about starting to get a new one. And all you need to do is get a new base. I wonder though I could if, if I could exchange the base and use that one and then use this one as the topper for a while. I don't know. I'll look into it and see what I need to do. Or maybe it doesn't even matter. Maybe I can just, I mean, it's still working. Maybe it never needs to be replaced. I don't know. Okay, so I think I'm done with this for this card. I think I'm almost done with the card. I just need to put it together because it's so cute. I want some dimensionals. Ooh, I have a new pack. Oh, well, I guess I should finish my old pack first. And I'm going to prep this by cutting these things. Then I need to put another one up here on his head. And I need a couple little ones for his feet so I can use these little chart rectangles I have down here. There we go. And I think that will be good. I keep forgetting that I already took that off. So let me just get rid of the extra paper. And then I can stick him down. Oh my gosh, he is the most, do you guys see that? That is so cute. Oh, I didn't even stamp on there. <laughs> I was just all excited because this is so cute. I think I'm going to pop dot this too. I'm going to use the two-way glue pen and put the glue on the back of the ribbon. And then I'm just going to lay this ribbon down and then I will trim it off. At the Emerald Envy line. Hmm. I might be able to use that on another card. 
clear there. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. So I'm going to, I don't know, should I put it together there? I think I'll put it together up at the top, make it crisscross a little bit, and then bring this in like that. And I'll do the trimming here in just a minute. And then I think I'll do this one more like that. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. Now I'm going to do the trimming at the Emerald Envy line. Okay, super cute. Oh my goodness. These are so little, I'm having a hard time. I don't know if I should put them on this side because then the other side won't have anything, so I'm just looking to see what I think. Well, heck, I need to get them down there first. I'm struggling with that. cut my fingernails yeah I think I like that so I'm going to take these little guys and this little guy and glue them up Oh, that's so cute. And his little thing. I know I had a piece of whisper wipe somewhere. Here it is. I'm just doing the finger technique for this one. Which isn't the best technique, but it's quick and easy, so sometimes it's worth it to me. Gosh. Ugh. That thing is nasty.
So now I'm just going to try to carefully snip this out. And I'll put some glue on the back of this guy. My cats are getting into it. And I'll put this on his little thing like that. Now I think we are done. Oh my word, that's so cute. I love it. Hope you guys do too. Have a great time. Fiesta like there's no manana. See you Wednesday. Bye. Bye.